Tony Coleman, Zach Cruz. Tony Coleman. So, yeah. Tony, yeah. what's the number one thing you would tell a drummer just starting out? To keep your eyes and ears open, never stop learning, watch, pay attention to everybody and everything. Be as versatile as possible. Don't neglect anything that anybody does. It's all good. Put it in your your your, your, your basket. You know what I mean? Yeah. What was it like playing with BB King all those years? Craig, this and that. Now you know that's a hard-ass question to answer, man. It was, it was everything. It was, it was beautiful. It was, it was family, man. It was love. It was hate. It was everything. Hate. <laughs> Yeah, I used to hate BB getting on my ass all the time about stuff, man. It's always a drummer. That's why he fired me five times. Oh, wait a minute. We need a little insight on that. Fired you five times. Five, but he hired me six. We're in Indiana right now. It's 7.30 in the morning. We're going to basic, baby. We're going to basic. la dee da dee da Who's this? How you doing? Great, buddy. How are you? Good. So, Greg, mm -hmm. number one advice for drummers just starting out. Oh, that's easy. Shine shoes and fresh breath. I'm serious. I, oh, oh. <laughs> I would say get the tempo for the song, man. Get the right tempo for the song and try to hold it through the whole song. It seems easy, but it's not. Picking the right tempo for the song. You play the wrong tempo, everyone's gonna be looking back at you going, come on, man. You gotta pick the right tempo for the song. And try to hold it there. Here we are in wonderful, outside of Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm here with none other than the great Zach Grooves. This is your first paycheck, man. What do you think so far? It's great. We're out to dinner with you and Jim and the boys last night. And hey, you're gonna kill it today. We're gonna be playing. Where are we playing today? What booth? The Dixon booth. Dixon. St. Louis Music. There's your the pass. Zach Graybill, what a great drum company. Yeah. And Jim Eating, yeah. what a great man, huh? We'll interview him later. We're gonna interview him yeah. later. Can we interview, can, can we interview you? Can we interview you? Uh, what is it about? We're just drummers, we're making a drum video. Yeah. You play drums? No. You I, like drums? I like drums, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a grunt, man. I do construction. All around me are familiar faces. Yeah. Take care. He doesn't play drums. He's a grown man. You're grown man. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I don't play drums. I'm a grown man. Yeah, grow up. But you know what? Coming up on Thanksgiving, and we are thankful to be drummers that are playing for people. We get to make people dance. Yeah. We get to make people happy. We get to make people nod their head, snap their fingers, tap their feet, Zach. Most hey. importantly, shake that ass. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. <laughs> All right, I'm here with the man, EMC. This is Mr. Cocky. Mr. Cocky. And what's your day job? What's the number one advice you could give to drummers just starting out? So I think all new drummers need to focus on just the basics, you know, technique, you know, try to listen and watch as much as possible. I mean, there's so much content out there now, so many great channels. There's so many resources for you to watch and learn, just take in as much as you possibly can. If possible, get a private instructor. I know that could be, you know, rough financially for some people, but yeah, just, just do whatever you can to watch, learn, listen to all your teachers. Here we go, Zach. First time. Here we go, <laughs> man. Your first basic Percussive Art Society International Convention. Did you hear about that guy from Russia? No. There was a percussionist in the Russian symphony, I guess. He's wearing a tuxedo. He's playing timpani a couple years ago at a PASIC in Russia. And he fell back and he split his head open. He was in the hospital. The next day in the Moscow Times, the headlines read, there was a concussion at the Russian percussion discussion. <laughs> What's the number one advice you would give to drummers? I'm going to quote Steve Gadd. He, he gave me these great words of advice. <laughs> Never pet a burning dog. Most recent gig with Lady Gaga. What? Lady Gaga? <laughs> number one advice for a drummer just starting out. Man, number one advice, and keep practicing and keep listening. Open your ears and just get to work, man. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Just practice, man. I love it, man. Thank you.
what's the number one advice you would give to drummers or musicians just starting out? Number one piece of advice that I would give to musicians starting out is to find, and this is tricky because you don't know what's the good information, what's the bad information. But if you happen to find it, really focus on your fundamentals. And if you're a drummer, really focus on learning technique that keeps you really, really relaxed because that's gonna serve you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And the more you focus on playing slow and getting something as simple as a quarter note great, it just makes everything more solid because you have that foundation. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> Number one advice I would give to beginners starting out is reach out to your heroes no matter what. Find their email, call them, DM them, do what you got to do. Reach out to them and tell them you love their music and you want to come meet them and start a relationship with your with your idols because that's that that's what will give you to the stars. Wow. I would say the number one thing for any drummer is to make sure they're playing something that has a musical purpose and not just a bunch of licks. I'm guilty of that myself too. It's chops don't solve every problem. That's true. Thank you. I, I, I love that advice. Number one advice would be to listen to everyone and learn how to weed things out. Oh, you got it, you got it, yeah! 762, new first place. Number one advice you would give to a drummer just starting out. Practice, practice, practice. Listen to as many drummers and musicians and styles. You can do, never settle for one style. I'm here with the young drummers of the future. What's the number one advice you would give to beginner drummers? Use a metronome as much as possible and always listen as much as you can and just like try to get the basics done. Yeah, I like that advice, Edison. That's very that's actually very good advice. If you ever get to play with a band, don't like overpower the band. Make sure uh, that you're with the band and not like above the band. Wow, that's some of the best advice we heard all day. Y'all are good, man. Hey, do y'all play Fortnite? No, sec, can you sign my symbol, man? So I'm here with the brand manager of the drum company, Dixon, that signed me. And I'm here with Greg. We're on our way to the buddy. airport. Thanks for having me on your channel. <laughs> Zach, my drum student, a couple years ago, Stefan Feynman, he's at Berklee College of Music now, great drummer from LA. He showed me your YouTube channel, and I said, I got so into your drumming, man, and your sense of humor and your overall vibe that I, as a fan, told our brand manager, Jim Uting, about you and Jim said let's talk <laughs> so with all that being said Jim I gotta tell you 85% of my DMs are from drummers that go hey man how do I get indoors how do I get signed or sponsored yeah. well the first thing is can I go on yes you can. first you have to be a really great drummer and nobody wants to sign somebody that can't hold a groove can't play a fill in tempo can't play different styles or doesn't have a sense of humor because you got to have a sense of humor to be in the music business. You gotta let things just roll off your back and you gotta be funny. And Zach's a role model for somebody that any company would Aww. want. But he's also super smart, knows how to talk to people. That's how you get signed, but it's not easy. Start working on all those things. Thank you, Greg. It's a treat. And that's a perfect lead into what I have to say. First of all, I think it's awesome to be part of a Zach video. <laughs> yeah, but, so when I was 18, I started working in a drum shop and didn't stop until 30 years later. So I got to experience a lot of young people with the same questions, same aspirations. And the cool thing is I got to see some go good, some go bad, some start and when they end. And I learned one thing, an endorsement, whatever you want to call it, is a privilege. And it's changed a lot now. In fact, companies are looking more for more people with established social media, YouTube presence, because it's all about exposure. But the thing about an endorsement is, if you're chasing one, if you think you deserve one, then just turn that energy into becoming a great player, like Greg said. Because if you do all those things right, the endorsements are gonna find you. You 
you don't have to go and find them. And then it's just a simple, smooth road. Those are the ones that last. It's never about free gear. If it's about free gear, it's just, it's, it's not gonna make it past step one. So just when, when, when guys ask me, what can I do for Dixon? I say, become a badass drummer to where I can't ignore what you're doing. And we want that energy and we want a relationship with you. So focus on playing. Right, guys, I don't know if you know about this, but Greg, Greg does Pooh. the voice of Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if you guys knew about that. Like legit, I'm not kidding. But there's Literally. a main guy named Jim Cummings. He's one of the voice I'm actors. The second guy. I'm, I'm for Winnie the Pooh, Pooh too. He's Pooh too. <laughs> He's a little Indianapolis Zach. Close your eyes. Oh bother! I'm here in Indianapolis, Indiana, with Zach Grooves. What is a groove? I'm not looking for a groove. I'm looking for a small speckle of honey. Oh bother! <laughs>